Let's begin by reading the exercise. This circuit is used sometimes in integrated circuits technology to simulate an inductor inside a chip. Determine the impedance seen by the source, this source, as a function of the component values R and C. Hence, find what is the equivalent inductance LEQ. So if you compute that the ratio between VIN and IN is the impedance seen by the source, that will be equal to J omega LEQ, some LEQ, and you need to compute LEQ. Let's proceed. We realize there is negative feedback on this uh, op amp over here. So the voltage Vn is equal to voltage Vp. But Vp is directly Vin. So we write this voltage here is Vin, the input voltage. And the same thing can be said about this other op amp. It has negative feedback. Vp is equal to Vn and Vp is Vin. V input of voltage. So we have that. Now we can compute the current on the leftmost resistor is uh, just VIN divided by the resistance, right? But because this current here is zero, it's the input current to an op amp, then that is the same current. VIN over R is the current in this resistor as well. And it's producing a voltage drop that is, of course, VIN in this resistor. So the voltage here is two times VIN is VIN plus this drop VIN, two times VIN. But now if we have the voltage here is V input and this is twice it, so that means that this current is 2 VIN minus VIN divided by R. V input divided by R. The current here is zero, so this current keeps flowing through the capacitor and the capacitor has an impedance 1 over CS so it produces a voltage drop here and the voltage at this point I'm going to call that VA can be computed let me let me write that VA is uh, V input this voltage here minus a drop in the capacitor which is uh, the current V input divided R multiplied by the impedance 1 over CS okay, that is at voltage but if you look on the right hand side of the figure, you say, I know what is the voltage here is V input and the current is I input and the current here is zero. Why? Because that is the input current in these op amps, right? So that is zero. So that means that all that current I sub I N is flowing through this resistor. This is I I N producing a voltage drop there. And you can say that that is equal to V input minus a drop R times IN. We have one equation, so we can move VIN, we can cancel out these two, so positive signs, and we can divide both sides by IN, and we get that V input divided by I input is, um, mm hmm. R square R square CS and but this is J Omega so this is just J Omega R square C it then means that the equivalent inductance is just this term is R square C and that was the solution to problem number three thank you very much